Hello? Oh my gosh. Of course. Thank you so much. Bob. I am by no means a professional and I do try and do as much research for these videos as possible but never take these literally and never do what I do in real life. Hey, my name is Cassandra and I've been living here in Valedale for my entire life. Now, you might know me and my horse Ollie and our journey with horse riding. We visited a western camp in the summer and are now working on gaining some cross country skills to start competing hopefully very soon. And because of the exposure that filming and my videos gave me, I got a very interesting phone call a couple of weeks ago. Now with that being said, unfortunately we do have to leave Ollie behind for this one just for today and go pack my bags for a little bit of a trip. <laughs> Good morning everyone, I am up bright and early today and I'm sure you have been sitting on the edge of your seats waiting to hear where we are going, so I'll tell you on the way. I got a phone call from Molly a few weeks ago invited me to spend a day or so at his farm. Now if you didn't know, Molly is not only a farmer but also a renowned horse trainer, trusted by the Baroness herself. For this reason, Molly has invited me, little old me, to ride one of his trained thoroughbred horses in a riding lesson with his new paddock setups. <laughs> If you want to visit Marley's farm yourself, simply make your way to the infamous Silverglade village and he is a very short walk away from it. I am here at the entrance to Marley's farm and I am beyond nervous but excited for this. Let's go. said hello to Marley where he gave me a quick rundown of the place. We have paddock number one, paddock number two, a storage shed, the first table, some horses over here, a shop, table number two, and of course the house. This is where I'm going to be staying tonight. Molly lives down here but if we walk up these stairs This is my door. After dropping off my bags into my room for the night, Marley brought me some of his clothing from the on-farm shop. This has to be some of the nicest clothing I've ever worn and I'm not just saying that because it was free. <laughs> Shortly after getting ready, I was introduced to the horse I was going to be riding. This is Barley. Yeah, I hear it. Bali is an English thoroughbred Molly has been training in the show jumping industry for quite a few years. He told me he's one of his proudest achievements. Bali was born and raised here in Jorvik, is 16 hands and 9 years old. When first meeting Bali, he was super kind to me yet very curious. Miley left me to bond with Bali before I started riding him, especially over jumps. So I groomed him. Tacked him up, and headed over to an empty arena to warm up. We 
I've been riding for a few minutes with Molly watching on the sidelines. Molly had one of the best rhythms I've ever felt, although I guess I haven't ridden many horses. His trot was super easy to both sit and rise in, and Bali was super responsive to me despite barely knowing me. Bali, Belly, Molly, someone help. <laughs> Anyways. Molly sent me away to explore a short trail ride around the area so he could begin setting up the new courses he had for the farm. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching Oh my gosh, look at the little flowers in the flower pots and in the barrels, oh my gosh and Bali is doing perfectly fine with all of the distractions around the jumps as well. Like, I can really see why the Baroness trusts Molly. I really can. Oh my gosh, we kind of matched this flower pot. I love it. I love it. But Molly told me there is actually another course as well. Oh my gosh. Molly went over and beyond with these jumps. Look at this one over here. I can really tell that Bali is very, very much ready to get this riding lesson under the way and get some jumping done. As someone who isn't pursuing show jumping, I enjoyed this way more than I should have. I've always loved trail riding, but also jumping, so cross country made the most sense to Ollie and I with our abilities. However, after having a lesson with Molly, I was ready to sign up. We started with Molly's old course, something Bali was used to, where I could settle into the gates of Bali and fix my posture slightly. We circled, Molly helped me out with the strides of Bali, then we did it. We jumped. Now, Bali is a thoroughbred, obviously different to my American quarter horse, Ollie. However, I'm not sure anything could have prepared me for how well Bali jumped. I really saw why the Baroness trusted Molly so much. Throughout the lesson, Molly helped me with my jumping position and cues, especially on a new horse, as I wasn't as in sync as I am with Ollie. Unfortunately, the day went by so quickly and it felt like only seconds when Molly was telling me to start cooling off. I dismounted and led Bali around in a few circles a few times before returning to the stables to untack and put him away. And just like that, day one was over. I shared stories with Molly sitting at the picnic table with a dinner of potatoes and vegetables before having a very restful sleep. Now the next day I really just repeated the same thing so I'm not going to bore it with you but unfortunately this does conclude my time here at Molly's farm and it is all thanks to you guys I got to experience this. Molly's going to open up some overnight stays with him if you are interested and I do highly recommend. Let me know if there is anyone else I should spend some time with and I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later. Bye bye.